Hi Cancer, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am going to be doing your weekly love reading for August 21st through the 27th. I wasn't going to do the weekly readings, but due to the requests, I have decided to do them when I can. So thank you to all my subscribers, watchers, um, shares, likes, and all that jazz. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. And uh, just thanks for the support in general. Cancer. August 21st through August 27th. What do you have for Cancer? So there's a lot of conflicts, that's for damn sure. A lot of uh, mental anguish going on this week. Um, a lot of mental anguish, okay? So it looks like perhaps there's somebody from the past that is causing you to, you know, you feel a loss from this person, okay? I think that you're feeling, you know, that, that it's been a complete struggle. And um, there's been a lot of conflicts, okay? Maybe there's been some lies and deceit. Maybe you thought they were your soulmate and, you know, they lied to you about something and your intuition was right on about this and that totally sucks. So I think that you may be feeling independent and you may be independent, you know, you may not even have a partner anymore because something has transpired that um you already figured you thought you knew you know and it turned out to be what you thought you knew and um it totally sucks so um but it's a blessing okay so just put keep that there okay it's absolutely a blessing with this wheel of fortune it really is a good thing it okay the struggles that you were having with whoever this is from the past are over okay they are over Jeez, I'm crow. Um, okay, so you're definitely. Um, it, it's the good thing is is that that things are start to get better. Okay, I see that there's you know a loss and you have a very sore heart at this point. I think your heart is very. Um, What's the word for it? Uh, heavy. Your heart is very heavy right now. Okay. I feel like, um, you know, you were hoping for a happily ever after. And with somebody that you thought was your soulmate. And perhaps it isn't. And during this week, your heart is heavy. Your heart is heavy. I think perhaps you received some word or some communication from somebody that was a very hurtful truth. Okay, and it was, you know, it was some lie that came out that has affected your, um, you know, your thoughts that this was your, your soulmate, okay, but you knew, you already knew, I mean, and that, you did, you did, you knew, um, and it's time to make a change, okay, it is absolutely time to make a change, and this week, perhaps you are, perhaps you're deciding, you know what, I'm, I'm going to change. This is it. It's over. I'm going to bring the comfortableness back to my life. I'm going to just be happy in my home and I'm going to bring the comfortable, um, happy home back somehow. Okay. So that's what, that's at the center of your reading. Okay. This is a very comfortable, happy establishment, you know, but there's a hell of a lot of, uh, bullshit up here, you know, that's, that's causing you, um, hurt causing you hurt and and despair and mental anguish okay but luckily we it looks like at home maybe at home you have, that's where you feel the most comfortable maybe you have secluded yourself to your home because of this 
these uh, this these negative thoughts that are going on in your head. This hurt, okay? But this is time to a change, okay? Time for a change. Perhaps you need to let this hurt go and you know acknowledge it, acknowledge the hurt. And, and start to heal and acknowledge your independence perhaps you start to focus on your independence now you start to remove a blockage you know you've been hurt up here towards the end of the week you know you're like you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna do the right thing for me I know what the right thing is to do I need to follow my own path and I'm gonna do that you know I'm gonna believe in myself and believe that you know there's there's something else I'm gonna remove this blockage that's causing me all this um, mental anguish okay um, I think that you have received word in the past before this week or maybe yeah, I think before this week that you know somebody was lying to you and it was somebody that you thought was your soulmate and uh, yeah that's what I think so we're gonna get some of these uh, these are, this is the after tarot and I really, really like it a lot, so I'm going to get a few of these for you. And I do my cards through my own interpretation. I don't care what any other reader says, does, whatever. This is my interpretation. There you are. Perfect. And that's you putting yourself in the driver's seat. This is mastering your emotions right over this mental anguish bullshit that's going on up there. You decide to master your emotions here. You're putting yourself in the driver's seat. You're just going to, you're taking on. This is a victory. It's like, you know what? Yeah, you broke my heart. You stabbed me. I was just about dead. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to master my emotions now. And that's probably why you've been hiding out at home and just wanting to drop off the face of the earth. Okay? So this one right here is your tide turning and you have it twice. This is when the wheel spins, okay? This is good fortune. All this shit happened for a reason. The tide is about to turn. It is, especially with the wheel twice. Okay, here's the Knight of Swords. Um, this person that you were with that you thought was your soulmate, all they thought about was themselves in the situation they weren't even thinking about the consequences they were out to do whatever and they didn't even care and that is so hurtful and you have been cheated and lied and that's how you feel you feel cheated and lied and you've learned the truth about this person could be any sign okay because they all have these aspects most people you know have all of these different aspects in their charts this is an air sign which is Libra a Gemini or Aquarius could also be another Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a Taurus, could be, um, really could be any sign. Here we have Aquarius again, but, <laughs> all right. Okay, so your wheel spins. Okay, because you decide to um, put yourself in the driver's seat and master your emotions. Okay, so things start to change and the mental anguish starts to go away. Okay, you start out with that and you have it pretty much throughout the week. But as you're having it, things are starting to change. Okay, you've became aware probably way before this or maybe right before this that you've been cheated and lied to and this proud person was your soulmate so your heart is like totally freaking broken so you have hidden it's like you know what I don't even want to be seen by anybody but perhaps um, you decide all of a sudden you know once you, you you decide you know what there is hope for the future there is hope there is there is something else out there for me um, and you start in your wishes, you know, probably, you know, you are, when you start to think positive, that your wishes go up to the universe, you know what I mean? So I think that they're manifesting. Um, and it looks like you're standing alone, okay? It looks like you're standing alone and you're just working on healing, okay? So I think that you're working on healing towards the end of the week. And if anybody was to offer you love, you might not even accept it because you're working on yourself. You're working on your future, 
okay? And the first step is to heal. And so I think that's what you're doing. You're going to heal and you're going to start to make a change in the right direction. Okay, you're going to start to heal yourself and follow your own path and do what's right for you. And instead of living in this mental anguish area towards the beginning of the week, I think you just start, start to change. Here we have um, somebody not accepting love at all. And this could be, you know, this could be from a Taurus, could be from an, another an air sign, could be really from anybody. But it's just like, you know what, I just don't even want it at this time. Because I can't, I don't know, I just don't even want it at this time. Um, because you're working on yourself. I think that you're working on healing yourself. And if you're in a committed relationship, it's, it doesn't mean that you're going to break up or anything because you don't want love. It means that you're working on healing yourself. Okay? Um, and I think it's, I don't know, this is more for singles because I see a lot of hurt. I see a lot of hurt um, and, and, and a lot of strife, mental strife because of this hurt. Um, and I think that this week is a time of healing. So that is the message I have for you, Cancer. I um, Please subscribe if you liked.